I wanted to take some time today to talk to you about our new series, Music Street Journal Local. We started with uh, Rockford area music makers based on the Rockford, music, Illinois music scene, basically because that's local for me. And uh, we eventually want to try to do some other cities. Uh, I'm in talks to get a couple of other cities going. Uh, we'll see about getting those underway. But for now, we've got three books in this series with another one being made right now. Um, and each book features four bands. Um, they all feature photography. They all of them so far, there may be some other stuff later, but they all so far feature photography by Eric Melly, and I've written all the stuff in them. I did do photography for one of the bands in uh, one of the books we've got out so far. So we'll take a look at each of the books. Now these books are very photo heavy. Um, they're mostly about the photographs, but there is a little description of each band and uh, you know, members and a little of the history of the band. We're trying to preserve the whole scene. Um, this is the cover to the first one, and the bands we covered in that one were The Attitudes, Audio Drive, Point Zero Eight, and Rat Baxter. And uh, so we've got, you know, like I said, a lot of photographs, a lot of black and white photographs fill up the pages with uh, you know, some description of each band. We've got you know, a little paragraph or so of that band that's uh, rat, uh, point zero 0.08, and uh, that's kind of what you get with these books, is a lot of photos, uh, lots and lots of photos, and a little bit of history and stuff. And it all depends on how much information we can get on the various bands. But uh, that's the first book. For book two, we turned our attention to Clark Colborn. That's the one I shot the photos of. A modifier, 99 Proof Devils, and I'm My Six. Here's the cover of that book. And uh, like I say again, you got a lot of a lot of photographs. You got some description along with photographs of uh, the various bands. So um, photo heavy books, but they're. Uh, designed to kind of chronicle and preserve uh, for the future these uh, various artists and kind of give a record, you know, like almost like an encyclopedia is what I think of this as, a set of encyclopedias sort of, of the uh, local music scene. We're currently working on book four, and that's going to be coming out on uh, 815 Day, which is a celebration of Rockford, August 15th. Um, but the one we have out currently, it just came out recently, is uh, volume three, which has Crushing Daffodils, Let Fate Decide, uh, Sunset Strip, and Sweet Lucy. And there's the cover of that one. And... Uh, Again, you know, lots and lots of pictures. Um, Sweet Lucy was the first one. Well, we, we actually had one other band that, uh, in the process of uh, getting it put together, uh, they were breaking up in one of the earlier books. Um, but otherwise, this is the first one to have a band that is no longer around, uh, Sweet Lucy. And uh, for that reason, we, we're going to try to do that for each book going forward, at least one band. That way it helps to uh, make a lasting record of you know, bands that aren't around anymore, because that's kind of the point of this, preserving the whole scene. If you want to see about getting the books, there's a Facebook page for uh, at Music Street Journal Local and uh, we've got links there for each of the books. Otherwise, if you go to lulu.com slash strange sound, um, you should be able to find them there. They're going to be at other places online too, but you actually get your best deal at the lulu.com website just because we keep them discounted there. So that's it for this, uh, this uh, little informative edition.
Thanks for your time.